Hi there. This is an introduction on how to introduce Bluebeam Review into your Vectorworks workflow. Bluebeam Review is a powerful PDF markup, editing, and collaboration application perfectly suited for construction document coordination. Today we're going to focus on the Mac version, but the PC workflow is essentially the same. No special plugin is required for this workflow, but to get the ball rolling, we need to set Bluebeam as the default PDF application. In order to do this, I'm going to move to the top right hand corner and click on the review logo and then click on the gear icon for preferences. The preferences window is open. I'm going to click on the general tab and ensure that there's a check mark beside set as default PDF viewer. I can go ahead and close the preferences window and then click on the review drop down menu and quit review. You can see that I've got Vectorworks open and the next thing I'm going to do is move to the file drop down menu and click on publish. For those of you unfamiliar with the publish command, it's a PDF exporter that binds the sheets into a single document and is built into the PC and Mac versions of Vectorworks Architect, Spotlight, Landmark, and Designer. For those of you already familiar with the publish command, you'll see that I've already moved some sheet layers over from the left-hand column to the right-hand column and all prepped for PDF exporting. I'm going to select them all, and there's one more important step to take, and that's clicking on Options and ensuring that there's a check mark beside Open PDF in the default viewer. Now we can go ahead and click Publish and pick the location in which we want to save them. And now, depending on the amount of data on the sheet layers, the DPI of the sheet layers, and the number of sheets in your document, this will dictate how long it takes for the PDFs to export. Once it's complete, which should only take a few more seconds, you'll see that the documents automatically launch Bluebeam Review, and open at the same time. Much like other PDF applications, I can flip back and forth between the pages in the document. I can also zoom in and zoom out using the scroll wheel on my mouse or the trackpad on my laptop, as well as pan around. I can also click on this folder icon and open other PDF documents and have multiple PDFs within the same session. So here I'm going to click on a file from the same project, but slightly older with a different date. Here you can see they're tabbed across the top, or I can view them in a split screen view by clicking on one of these icons in the lower left corner. Here I'm going to split vertical, and it's going to open up the identical document. I'm just going to click on the newer version and make sure that the older version are side by side. And here I can zoom in and manually try and compare differences between the two drawings. But down here in the lower right corner is a really nice feature called Sync. As soon as I select this, as soon as I pan or zoom around in one document, the other document does exactly the same. And this process really streamlines document review. Another way in which you can compare documents is to take advantage of overlay pages. Click on the Document drop-down menu, then click on the Overlay Pages icon. This takes two documents and lays them on top of each other in a manner similar to what you would have done with a light table and automatically highlights the differences between them. In this case, it's got the file dated 2016-04-15 ready, and I'm just going to add the other file that's already open, and it's dated 2016-03-18 and it wants to highlight the differences between the two in red and green. When I click OK, the process begins. It'll compare the two documents, highlight the differences, and anything that's the same will remain in black. Here it creates a separate document that we can now continue to review and mark up if we need to. Now that we've automatically highlighted the differences in the drawings, we can go ahead and start to mark up. I'm going to click on the markup drop down menu and then click on the shapes icon and select cloud plus. This is my favorite tool. Essentially, it creates a cloud, automatically sets up the extension line for the text box, and then allows you to type. Now let's say we've got a few more bathroom markups to make. I'm going to click on this tab on the left-hand side to pop open 
the tool chest and you'll see here under the recent tools set it's remembered my most recently used tool that I've created. I can simply drag that tool onto the drawing into another scenario where there's a bathroom and drop it in place. A great time saver for marking up similar issues on the same drawings. In addition to remembering all of the recently created and used markup tools, Bluebeam Review keeps track of everything that's been done in the drawing. By clicking on the blue tab at the bottom, this panel opens and shows a list. In it is the tool that was used, the author of the tool, the date and time that it was created, as well as the comment. This is good for accountability as well as creating task lists. And here we can create a CSV or PDF summary of what's been done in the drawing in order to pass it along to a colleague for completion. So this has been a brief overview of how to incorporate Bluebeam Review into your Vectorworks workflow. If you'd like to discover some other opportunities where Bluebeam can be incorporated into your office, don't hesitate to give us a call. We'd be happy to help you out. Thanks and have a good day.